Hi everyone, I'm Mary Ann Mures de Guzman of Mary Das Tech, and I'll be showing you the program that I've created using the assembly language. So let's run this program and I'm using GUI Turbo Assembler X64. I have a predefined string here. Hello world, learning assembly language is fun. Do you want to reverse the string above? And if I type Y, the output of the reverse string is this one. Let's try to input N for no. Then it will show the unreverse string of this predefined string. And then it will also show thank you for using this application. Now what if we run a different key? Not Y for yes and not N for no. Let's say K. It will just show a message in valid input. Enter Y or N only. And it will show the predefined string again. And the question, do you want to reverse the string? If I type another wrong input, and then it will still show that invalid input, enter Y or N only. Now let's see how I created this program. First, I defined the size of both code and data pointers as near. And then I initialize 100 byte stack segment and initialize the storage of the variables. You already saw the strings when I showed you how my program works. This is the code section where I place the instructions in the memory. And I defined my program's entry point, the main process far, then load the data segment address to the accumulator register and assign the values to data segment. This response section has the instruction after you type Y for yes and then N for no and the other keys. I assigned the address from the beginning of the memory where the string is stored to the data register and then assign the string of the characters whose offset is specified by the data register to the high accumulator. Then I interrupt the handler. I assign the address from the beginning of the memory segment where the prompt is stored to the data register. And then same thing as what I did on the string. I also assigned the prompt of character whose offset is specified by data register to high accumulator. Then interrupt the handler again. In this line, I read a character from the standard input. This input is based on what you are trying to input on your keyboard. Then I compare the data source to the data in the accumulator. If the value is equal to Y, then jump to yes instruction. So what will be the yes instruction? This is the yes instruction and the no instruction. If the value is equal to N, then we jump to the no section. If the values are not equal to Y or N, then we jump to else do this section. And this is the else do this section. In the yes section, I assign the address from the beginning of the memory segment where the display yes is stored to data register. Assign the display yes of characters whose offset is specified by the data register to the high accumulator and then interrupt it again. Then call the interrupt handler. Assign the address where the reverse string is stored to our data register and assign again the string of the characters by the data register to high accumulator. Then call the interrupt handler and then jump to the end program section. This is the end program section. For the no section, we have this instruction. We assign the display unreversed that is stored by the data register and then assign the unreversed character by data register to high accumulator and interrupt the caller again then display the unreversed string in this line we will display the no string which is thank you for using this application and then jump to end program in this section if you enter any keys aside from y and end it will do this instruction it will display the string that says invalid input enter y and n only then jump to the beginning of the program which is the response this one and it will ask you if you want to reverse or not the end of our program we terminate the program for the exe file then end the main procedure this section will do the reverse of the string in this section it will do the instruction on how to reverse the string first i assign the address from the beginning of the memory segment where the string is stored to the source index and then count the characters from the string. I have two loops here, loop A and loop B. I compared if the character that I am pointing at is the last character in the string. Then move the contents of address source index to the low accumulator. If AL has the same character in the string, then it will jump to label A instruction. Else, I will push it in the stack. 
then increment the pointer and also the count and jump to loop A. In the label A, I load again the starting address of the string. Loop B, I compare the data in the counter register if it is equal to 0. If count is equal to 0, jump to exit. Then pop the top and make the high data equal to 0. I use XOR logic gates. Then I put the character of the reverse string in the stock and increase the source index. Increment, decrement the count and jump to loop B. In the exit section, I add the dollar sign to the end of the string and pop the return address of the stock and return control to that location. Then add a reverse procedure and end of the file. Thank you.